Hi, very quick video today. Um, some homemade coleslaw. Uh, this is something I do on a regular basis. I do it almost every week when I'm getting the uh, roast prepared. Um, and it lasts us, a bit, the two of us, about four to five days. Um, you don't want to make much more than that that lasts any longer because it gets a bit nasty after that. Um, anyway, let's have a quick look, see what we need to do. Okay, so we're not going to need many ingredients because it's a pretty simple recipe. We've got a carrot, an onion, you can use red or white onion, I like the red, just gives a bit more colour to the, the whole mixture. Um, some cabbage and this is optional, the raisins or currants, um, we like them and it just gives a little bit of a, an extra. Uh, salt, pepper, French mustard, mayonnaise and lemon juice and you can use either bottled lemon juice like we've got here or you can use fresh whatever you've got. I use the bottle because it it's always in the fridge. So let's see what we've got to do to put it all together. Right so dessert spoon, no tablespoon, the big one anyway whatever they call it, it's the big one. One generous spoon of mayonnaise. Wherever the lid went, there we go. So that can go. That's done. Half a teaspoon of French mustard. That can go. Lemon juice, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, so that can go, good old crank, salt, same with pepper, Let's see if we can get the rest of the mustard off of that little teaspoon. That can go. And then give this a right mix up. A bit of a mix up. Get it all, get it all combined. And that's, you can't really see there. Let's get my lights sorted out. But that's it for that bit. That's the first part. So that can go out of the way for a second. So. First thing is onion. I like to put the onion in first. So we'll get that cut up. Now I don't need a whole onion. Obviously if you like a lot of onion you can put more in it but I'll probably use about half of this for that bowl. So I'm just going to score through it, turn it round the other way, 90 degrees, do it again, some of you might recognise this knife by the way, this is one I made on one of my previous videos and I'm still using it. And then. go, nicely shredded, just get rid of that bit, so that can go straight in the bowl, in there, next carrot, plain old grater, take the nasty nibble off the end, and just grate away. Make sure you've got short fingernails when you do this because when you get to the end, if you catch your nails in it, and I've come up as a bit of a surprise in your it's coleslaw.
one carrot's plenty for this, for the quantity that we do. Obviously, if you want to make a big batch, you just double everything up. You know, two carrots, a whole onion, half the cabbage instead of quarter. Get into the dodgy bit. Watch the fingernails. I'm going to leave it at that. Don't want to risk it, the wife would go mad. She started chewing on a fingernail. That wasn't her own. Right. Okay, so the carrot. Let's see if we can get that in there. Get rid of that. So there you go, you've got your carrot and your onion. The last bit, the cabbage. Now you don't want a massive amount of cabbage, funnily enough. Um, this is what's left over from, well, probably two weeks roast. Um, so we're going to have a, let's have about, about that much. Take out that nasty centerpiece, the hard bit, and then just, just sort of shred this. This knife is brilliant for this sort of thing. It's quite heavy. You don't have to do too much work. To shred up your cabbage. Right. Okay, that bit, nice. Okay, so now that lot's got to go in the bowl as well. full now. So now all I'm going to do is add a little handful of these. These are just Sainsbury's basic sultanas. You can use raisins, use whatever you like. I'm just going to put a fairly good sized handful in. Make sure they're not all stuck together. And then all you've got to do Let's give it a mix. You've just got to combine everything together. Make sure it's all coated with that mayonnaise mix that you put in in the first place. It takes a while, so don't be impatient. Turn everything over. See, it's all starting to glaze over with the coating. Oh, I think that's just about got it. That's made what probably two thirds of a bowl there. Right, there you go. That's all there is to it. Now, all you've got to do, don't eat it straight away. It tastes horrible. Cover it with cling film, stick it in the fridge for about three hours, minimum of three hours, so it can all marinate and everything get into it, all the juices get in there, and then enjoy. And as I say, that much in that bowl, it's about two thirds full, that'll last us four or five days, and you really wouldn't want it lasting any longer. So there you go. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you'll enjoy it.